walk out to uh, the mud flats where the water was pushed out of. Four days of continuous high winds pushed the water out and it went dry. The boat was on its side. This is actually like quicksand, I think. If it were deeper, you'd be dead. A pretty far paddle out. I do my best to get out here as soon as possible after work, but it takes me a while. Like I, I've never actually seen the sunset from the boat yet, but it's it's definitely relaxing. Cheers. Those two lights are lawn solar powered lights. They're automatic, so they charge all day. And then they automatically turn on when it's about this light out, which is really nice because I can paddle out to the boat and they're on automatically. And they stay on most of the night. Maybe early morning they go out, but it's great to have those lights. And at night it lights up the deck. First time with the rain and the screened in area. It's nice and dry in here, but there's ventilation with the screen and no bugs. It's about to get really hot. So I have the entryway screen and then I've got this hatch in the front, but when I open it, the bugs get in, which I knew would happen. I've got three of these batteries, so they sell an adapter that goes on the battery and then I can run this little fan. So one thing that's been hard to deal with from the start is that this bed piece, I have these fenders because it keeps on moving out of place and sliding backwards and it's just it's just not st that sturdy. I built these two rails that go on the bottom. Yeah, I can already tell that's it's way more stable. It doesn't move. That was frustrating because it kept on pushing in and back. I added a cardboard box that seems to fit in there. That's great because my shoulder was sliding off right there and now it's all plenty of room, plenty. It's about seven or eight feet of sleeping area. Quick and dirty screen fabrication. I trimmed it out with some hefty tape and tried to keep it the right size. I'll tape it and then install it right there. Yeah, I think that'll work. It's not pretty, but I can clean it up later. But I don't think the bugs will be able to get in. And I'll get some cross breeze.
this is pretty much how it looks every time. Maxed out cooler with food, some supplies, more stuff. I have a little experiment. I have the boom above my head so I can stand. I have a half of a sunshade I cut. Cut it in half and I put some grommets in it. Running a piece of PVC so it'll pull the shade, give it a little bit wider area. Well, that's a lot more comfortable. It's about 90 degrees or so, and the deck was so hot, even though it's white, it's so hot, so I put down a carpet. Oh man, and then I was trying to get the sail out of the bag. <laughs> There's the sail, and I, I pulled it out and the battens fell in the water. So I've been diving around, I can't find them, but I have the jib ready. A few things I've done is I filled this bucket with a bunch of these weights. These are 10 pounds. <laughs> So I've got five of those, 50 pounds, and what that'll do is hopefully put this engine in the water if I have to run up to the front, and that way the, the water can cool. It won't pop out of the water. The cooling system will still work, and it kind of offsets the, the fact the engine's on one side. But this boat also, it needs to be, this boat also needs to be in the water more in the back. It, it makes noise at night, so the weights are good for that. All right, motor still works, but a bit of advice is this, uh, the starting cord was, choke on there. Uh, the starting cord was really jammed, so I gotta make sure and pull that every week. And I think we should be good. All right, that's how it idles, so that sounds really good. Put the choke back in before and it turned off, but now it's, it's all set to go. I put some, some fuel additive in there uh, to help it process the old fuel. Looks like it's good. I can turn it off and start sailing. So pull that out. Try to shoot that gap. All right, we're going. I made it. I had to do a jibe, so I didn't. Uh, I went around that way, and then I'm going out. Sail's flapping a little bit, but it's grabbing the wind. There's the, making a little wake. Looks pretty good. Just want to make this keyhole. I've got a bungee holding the tiller. Uh, because I don't have the mainsail up, I can't because the battens fell in the water. I couldn't find them, so I'll have to make some. But uh, I wasn't ready to put it up anyway because I gotta work on the main sheet attachment somewhere around there and uh, the down haul and the out haul. I haven't done all that yet, but we're moving. I can kind of walk around with the tiller bungeed and come up front. Check it out up here. It's kind of cool. Not bad. This is that beefy anchor I had to to buy it's it's pretty big it's held through some pretty strong winds so good to have that aboard i will have to start the motor to do a tack so um really motor sailing but it's still fun to get out and actually put the sail up i like it this is what it's all about i've been trying to i've been aiming for this for a long time see what's out there.